Hello everyone, and welcome to Planet Zoo. My first build of the main game after the beta um, came and went. So uh, I'm really excited. Um, I wasn't really motivated to play this game yet, but now uh, I had an idea. Um, I don't know if it's original, but it seems fun. So a couple of years ago, um, I went to Vienna with my, uh, with my orchestra and um, on our final day, we went to this palace. Uh, called Schönbrunn. Brun, I don't know how to pronounce it. Sorry for that, but um, it was fun, and um, that was the main main attraction there, the, the palace. But they also had a zoo, a little small zoo. Uh, I didn't go there, but I saw there was a zoo, and it was enough for me to remember it um, for this game because, well, this game is about zoos apparently, so that's fun. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna build a palace with a zoo here. Um, now actually the main focus is going to be the palace and the gardens. And um, then there's also a little zoo with maybe a couple of animals. But I, I, I mean, it's still going to be ethical, like large spaces and stuff. But yeah, I'm building a palace here. So I already did the outlining and a little trick uh, for a circular design. I, uh, I basically place a wall down and then I build another wall on the same grid on the other side of the circle I'm gonna make and that uh, makes the radius of the circle and then you can uh, es press escape and copy that building uh, and just drag it so in a in like in a round in a circle and that's how you get a big circle that's what we want here so always a good trick to use if you want to make something look more unique because everything in this game is square unless you put effort into it now I, I had a design in mind and i pretty much stuck to that design um for the most part so in the front of the like the palace area we have two little side buildings here that i'm making here with just a um a sl slated roof is that the word i don't know yeah you can see me placing down all the pillars and all the arches and I really had fun building this uh, build. I knew pretty much what I wanted to do. That's always a good thing. Uh, because you can continue building and you always have in mind what you want to do. Because otherwise you might be looking around your build for like 30 minutes, not doing anything. And that's quite annoying because you, then you've ruined your day, you know. So it's always a challenge to keep building in this game. Um, less so in Planet Zoo than Planet Coaster because Planet Zoo actually has gameplay. Instead of Pl Planet Coaster, which uh, is mostly just building and then it works. You don't have to do, really do anything to make everything work. But yeah, uh, this series is mostly going to be about building the general area and then a tiny bit about managing it in the end, I think. I'm still not sure how to do this format, um, but whatever seems most fun to you guys, I guess. So uh, I extended the wall here. Um, so have some depth, De depth, yeah, okay, and um, also building a roof. You see me using the circle technique a lot in this build, because while well, everything in front of the main palace is a circle, um, so that's actually quite tedious uh, in the end, because if it was square, this video would be like 10 minutes shorter. And then we're just fine tuning everything, I have to demantle, dismantle everything from the building and then... Like here, like here, like you need to move every part individually uh, instead of together. What you can do with like one building, one grid, and every wall is on a different grid here, so that's really a, a challenge that comes into play with like building in this sort of style. Now, luckily, we have a uh, lots of uh, palacey looking objects in Planet Zoo um, under the classic theme. Uh, we didn't have those in Planet Coaster, so I'm really happy. And we can make all sorts of like pillars and, and stuff like that. Oh, this was also so tedious to do. I needed to select every wall and then uh, place down a roof piece at, at the correct height. And then had to drag it out and it was just oh, really tedious. What we really need in this game is a mirror tool because <laughs> this, this, like, this build is pretty much entirely symmetrical. So if you would have cut it in half and mirror it on the other side. It would have the same result with the half to work, so... Please, Frontier, if you're listening, um, please add a mirror tool, it would, like, greatly help a lot of people. Wow. Uh, same here, I needed to, like, build a, 
the really railing uh, things on top. And I had to use the circle technique again. Oh, that's also a thing they should add, like a better way to make circles like this. Uh, it's also not entirely perfect, like um, how it like feeds into each other. But in the end, it looks uh, it looks nice. I am happy with the end result. You will see uh, at the end of the video. Um, so here, I uh, really wanted to add some depth to the main palace because otherwise it will look boring. Now. I copied this, um, basically this whole place from uh, Schönbrunn, a well-known palace uh, which I talked about earlier. Um, but I, I didn't want to like clone it or make a recreation of it. What, that will limit me to exactly rebuilding it and that's like not a thing I like to do. So yes, it does look a lot like it and... Um, well, it's basically the same in the main building, except for the round circle -y thing that's unique. Um, but yeah. So another challenge that came up here was like doing the paneling for this uh, stairway. Uh, I had to think about how to execute it properly, but in the end, it did work out nicely. Um, they added a lot of good looking um, path uh, textures in uh, Planet Zoo actually. Which I'm really excited to use, so yeah. Now this video is a bit longer than my usual videos. Um, but it would be pretty weird if I showed you guys half a palace um, at the end of episode 1. I want to show something that's finished every episode, so um, I prefer that over short videos. Now here, I just wanted to make a front facade to like text, uh, um, test out how it the entire palace would look in the end, so I'm using a lot of those uh, beamy beams, uh, the stucco ones or limestone ones, I don't even know, it, the white stuff. Um, I played with depth a bit, with different uh, shapes of pillars, and it started to look, well, pretty good. Well, I copied it from a Google Images uh, image of uh, that uh, palace I talked about, so... I mean, it is accurate in that regard. Uh, I still had to fiddle around with the pieces we have but like some of the pieces are so great for this build I'm really happy about it just I can in my head I have the build done completely already with like the gardens and the p-files running around uh, I'm just not sure about the zoo part yet which is uh, arguably the most important part <laughs> for this game but yeah if you guys have ideas for the zoo because it's not a recreation of anything it's just yeah, let me know what animals should be in this zoo um, besides p files because those are just running around everywhere um, yeah uh, the back of the building will look different in uh, the next episode probably i mean i've made it look finished here but it's just windows and windows and windows and it's supposed to be a second entrance from the gardens like schoenbrun has so yeah now here I'm starting on the roof, which is very important, otherwise you people will get wet. Uh, that's actually scientifically proven, I talked with a lot of uh, climate uh, scientists and um, it's not a hoax rain, rain is real. Um, it's kind of surprising when I uh, first uh, had my encounter with rain, but yeah, okay, and roof. Um, it's one and a half pieces high, uh, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, it's not really that interest interesting. I, I fiddle around with it a bit. And then, of course, I had to copy it to the other side because we don't have a mirror tool. Please, from here, edit, please. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh, I fixed the roof here. I uh, wasn't happy with it, so I um, deleted it again. And then I decided, hey, let's have a little courtyard in the middle. Because Shane Brun on Google Maps says that too, uh, I think. I'm not sure of it, but it does like give the rooms a lot more light because you have windows on both sides instead of like a completely dark area in the middle. So that's kind of accurate I guess. Oh this is the other side, it's exactly the same only uh... No it's, yeah it's the same. Exciting, yes. Okay. Now if this is your first time watching one of my videos, uh, what I do is basically this, I talk a lot. A lot. Uh, when I build stuff in, in time-lapse form of Planet Coast and Planet Zoo. And, um... Yeah, I don't know why... 
people would watch this, but uh, it's a nice... For me, it's just a nice video diary of what I've built and I can always look back at um, how I did something or uh, it can motivate me to play the game or not play the game if it seems like too much work. Hey. But um, yeah, I have, a, I have a couple of fun ideas for this game. Uh, this being one of them and then I'm also doing like a franchise too. Which is completely different because then I don't have unlimited money. But I still want to make it look good from the beginning instead of like making a, a functional zoo that looks like Belgium. That's not something I want, no. So, yeah. Okay, anyway, here I'm doing the railing, really, uh, uh, things. Um, it's not that spectacular, it's all the same, you know. But I guess then people and birds won't fall off the roof. Because everyone uh, walks on there, of course. I I just like copied the pictures, but it does make it look um, royally. Yeah, I'm not sure, um, like lore-wise, if I want uh, I want it to be an active palace or like a Schönbrunn where the emperor family stuff uh, is gone. Um, we might like if you guys want to like make up a story about like a uh, in in legit in in king yeah you know what i mean uh or something like that make it a bit spicy you know instead of a boring palace here i made some stairs for the people because they don't need to fall down and otherwise you can't get up very easily and people weren't that tall back then in uh in baroque times i guess okay just did some roof trimming because that's important yeah life or death situations here oh this is was my favorite part to build these bubbly things on the railings um because it's easy and it's just really relaxing to place those things down you know here i did some roofy roof uh, decorations some sticks and some wood um Again, taken from the Google Images picture of that palace. Oh yeah, extending the main road. Well, not the main road, but a road on the palace grounds. Uh, I tried playing around with the textures a bit, but these are the two tiles that look the best because you can't recolor most of them, which is really uh, disappointing. And it's actually a problem I have in Planet 2 right now is the lack of customizability to a lot of objects, uh, which we do, which we do have in Planet Coaster. It's kind of kind of troubling me actually. Um, yeah, a lot more pillars. That's basically my technique to use pillars everywhere because it will make stuff look better. Double windows. That's oh yeah, I want to talk about that because we don't have a lot of windows in the game yet of this style. Um, so they are not tall enough by itself. So I put two on top of each other, but then you see like the little round part of the lower window in the top window. So I pulled out the top window and copied it to the back. And I mean, it's a nice compromise for what we're going for here. Um, yeah. So in here, I'm working on the outside part of the circly bit. Um, which was fun. But I kept in mind that I needed to copy it exactly for the other side. Which is... Oh, it tired me down uh, mentally already. Um, so yeah, placing the pillory pillars... Lots of work, hard work, hard labor, people. Yeah, imagine actually building this place in real life. That would suck. Now I lost a bit of footage here, but ugh, it's all pretty, pretty, pretty uh, logical when you think about it. So I'm placing some trees around and some dirt because everyone's got dirt on them, right? So yeah, the trees make it look a bit more vivid or like less plain. I mean, this would look like shit in Planet Coaster because, well, the lighting here is just so much better and the textures and the shadows ah, look so much better. I'm really, I'm really glad that they updated the engine so well. Um, so here I'm decorating the inside courtyard bits because those need to look good uh, too, right? Otherwise the people living there would not be so happy. I'm even placing down floors inside. How nice of me. Okay, so here I'm copying the exact same thing I did in front to the back. 
uh, not paying mind to the length of these things uh, that will appear inside of the building. I mean, the inside of this building looks really bad, but I'm not sure what to do with it yet. Place some shops down. I don't want it to be a habitat of any sort. Uh, I want to play some, probably some like souvenir shops and stuff, which you would realistically have. I mean, this is like a museum now, right? So it's a big part of our zoo and our income for this family or like private company now. Uh, yeah. So a little balcony out back. So this bit I'm definitely gonna redo in the next episode, make it more wide and have like lots of doors and different pillars and of course the garden is going to be the main aspect of the next episode i'm really excited about that to fool around with the foliage a bit because the foliage in this in this game is the best aspect about it in my opinion i mean animals are pretty cute too but uh, who cares about animals when you have plants yeah so lots of windows it's really uh it's kind of boring uh it was fun to do though because it was in easy and uh, it also was a bit of a chore again, but oh well. Yeah. Now here we're gonna build these little, little side buildings. Um, to gonna deck. Oh no! First more bubbly uh, parts on top. Fun. Yeah. Oh, it looks so. It was so nice to do this. Yeah. Okay. Are we done with it? Okay. Yeah. More trees. More green. More color. Instead of just yellow and gray. Yeah. Okay. N more bubbly things. Yes. Wow. Okay. More trees. More dirt. Oh, exciting. Okay. Now, uh, are we finally going to more bubbly? Yeah, okay. The side buildings. I added a little hedgy hedge to, uh, to guide people, uh, to keep them on their path, you know? Yeah. Um,. In the end, you will see what I mean with like that the trees make it more look vivid. Now, all the main parts of this building are basically done. Only the sides and a little aspects of decorating and stuff are still to come. Uh, again, this is copying the other side, but yeah. Some windows here, some windows there. How exciting. Now, sadly, I can't upload this to the workshop, this palace. Because it apparently has more than 4,000 pieces, who would have thought? I used some more copper roofs because I really like the roofs and I only discovered that we had those later. Uh, oh yeah, I needed to do the inside decorating of these courtyard things. Um, but yeah, I can't upload it to the workshop. It says that it's six, uh, 666 objects uh, in, um, in size, but it doesn't tell you an actual piece count anymore. So that's kind of frustrating. So I don't know by how many pieces it is too big. Maybe it's only like a hundred and then I basically could have like polished it up a bit. But oh well. Please add that to Frontier. Peace count. It's frustrating. Okay. okay, now here we're finishing off with the fountain. A fountain without fountain water is a pond. So okay. See you next episode people. Bye. <laughs>